What up? Um, let's talk about show 13. Um, right now we're in um, Kansas City, Missouri. We're doing a show tonight, but let's talk about the show the other night in Moline, uh, Illinois. I mean, it was a it was a long drive from uh, Michigan down to uh, Moline, so it was pretty uneventful. We didn't have uh, much to do, but we did smoke. Uh, the smoke bus was in full effect. We had to lock Bobo in the back room so he doesn't get in trouble and shit. You know what I'm saying? Lock him up so that, you know, he doesn't, you know, um, test dirty um, for his for his Probo. Bobo on Probo. Um, but it was a smoky night. We had some shots of this, shots of that. You know, just to, you know, enjoy the drive, if you will. And it was a late night drive, so eventually we knocked out to wake up in Moline. And, uh, you know, again, it, it, you know, these type of shows, some of them are like, get into the city, you're not there for that much time, get on stage and you're the fuck out. And this was very much like that. Couldn't go on the shoe hunt, there was no shopping because basically there, weren't, there wasn't shit around where we were staying. And, um, it just wasn't, there wasn't any time for that. So we just went from the hotel to the venue and we kicked it. You know, it was kind of rainy, kind of wet. I played that um, that venue before on, I believe, uh, Smoke and Grooves, Zalapalooza, pro probably Prophets of Rage, much like this gig here tonight. This time we woke up in Moline and number one moline rocks it's about two hours outside of chicago um i never heard of it but they got busy i didn't have to do my extended set this time because the the brothers horror they're back it's great they freaking threw down but still they still rocked still rocked and um yeah smoked a lot of weed i think i mentioned that we didn't know what it would be like we didn't know if it would be slow or a, or a quick ramp up, but I gotta tell you, man, um, it was fucking awesome. And this is the show where we got our new backdrop. Like we've been using um, our Elephants on Acid backdrop. It's a cool backdrop, but it's not made for arenas. It's not made for shed shows like the one we're doing tonight, which you will eventually see later. Um, sheds are outdoor venues you know, like amphitheaters and whatnot. We've been playing arenas. And uh, our backdrop is again from the Elephants on Acid album. Slightly smaller because it was made for clubs and, and smaller venues. And I didn't like the way it looked the first week out on the tour. So I made a call to management to have them make something more appropriate. And in Moline was the debut of the new backdrop, which looked fucking incredible and i want to say shout out to our lighting guy out there who has been killing it um it was a little rocky start in the beginning you know getting all the right spots with our with the lights and all that stuff but fucking locked it in and with the new backdrop looks incredible and uh not for nothing you know um with this show we decided to switch it out and ramp up you know, um, do the more aggressive set as opposed to come out with the get high set. If any changes that we got, last minute changes, where we discuss them, and uh, of course I'm on I'm on the I'm on the mat making the proper changes, like I gotta go do right now, because we're moving songs right now, we're forever changing, forever moving parts. We knew that some people would be making the trip up, and some people in the next state would be coming soon. We knew it would be pretty good. We just didn't know how good. Molay, what up? How the fuck y'all doing tonight? I like that shit. My name is DJ Lord from the Mighty Cypress Hill. We about to get down tonight. Where my hip hop heads at in the building? I gotta tell you, man, um, they fucking came with it. I mean, like, that energy was rocking. 
again, when it ramps up towards uh, we ain't going out like that, you see a change in the crowd. And from what we understand, what we've been told is that usually when bands tour with Slipknot, no one gets a reaction. They fold it all in for Slipknot. There are no crowd participation moments. It's all been, you know, like this. But with this combination of Cypress Hill and Slipknot, there has not been that. These motherfuckers have been ramped up and ready to go each night, engaging with Cypress Hill, and then fucking ready and, and, and ready to fucking go for Slipknot. You know what I mean? So it's been a great combination. And, uh, you know, again, trying to top those, those Canadian shows, it's hard because, like, those motherfuckers were ramped up like crazy. But Moline, Moline, Illinois, I mean, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. It could be Moline, Moline, whatever. They were crazy. This crowd was fucking on major pump, especially when we did the, the specific crowd participation points. I mean, they were fucking absolutely with it, 1,000%. It was a fun show. Um... I was high as fuck because we smoked hell a lot of weed before we got uh, on stage. And then the bombers that Aton's been rolling for the midpoint, I mean, yeah. I'll tell you motherfuckers to go and in hell! High as fuck. But like, we're riding a key, man. We're riding, we're riding in pocket, splashing people from the deep side of the pool, cannonball style. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, we've been winning a lot of these crowds over, and that salutes all y'all fans, and, you know, hopefully some of y'all that were there are watching this shit. I had a good time, I could say, man, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like, sometimes touring gets a little bit monotonous, and, and, you know, after maybe the second week, you're like, fuck, you're over it, you know, you're just doing a job and you want to go home and all that. That's, you know, that's work. What this feels like with Slipknot doesn't feel like work. It's fucking fun. Cause like their crew is cool as fuck. They're cool as fuck. I mean, we, you know, again, we're fucking boys, you know, like we, we got love and respect for them. So they, they went out of their way to make us feel welcome. And you know, their staff and the fans that come specifically to see them made us feel welcome. So thank all of you that are those fans that might be watching this. Um, it's awesome, man. And we're blazing across the nation. Let's go. That's Cypress Hill. That's how we do, all right? Um, I'm going to sign off with saying, if you ain't got that Back in Black album, you're fucking up. Go get it. Cypress Hill, Back in Black. You know, check for that. Then another Soldier Stories. Check them out right here exclusively on Be Real TV. Spread the word. Leave a comment. Like the shit. And keep it pushing. No booth ever. Thank <laughs> you.